Hello, my name is John Brisson, author of Fix Your Gut and Health Coach. Welcome to the Fix Your Gut YouTube channel. Today we're going to discuss why I caution the use of the antibiotic Flagyl, also known as metronidazole, uh, which is commonly used for people who are suffering from SIBO, which is small intestinal bacterial overgrowth syndrome, as well as uh, people who have uh, C. Uh, difficile uh, infections. Um, so the antibiotic Flagyl, um, is, is, I mean, it does have some pros for it. It, it is quite cheap. Um, it doesn't really have a uh, strong effect against aerobic bacteria. Um, and uh, it is on the World Health Organization list of essential medicines, uh, meaning that it's believed to be safe and effective. Um, however, you know, many doctors prescribe it daily around the world um, and don't alert their patients of potential side effects associated with its use um, that are even in the, in the drug inserts. Um, so, you know, I, you know, if a doctor ever prescribes a medicine to you and it's not under an emergency situation, I always recommend asking them if they've ever read the drug or medication insert for the drug that they're prescribing. A uh, majority of them will probably say no, and if that's the case, you probably need to find another doctor because they need to know exactly what they're prescribing a little bit more uh, than what they can uh, look up on their computers. Um, so Flagyl um, is a frequently prescribed antibiotic. It is of the nitromidazole uh, class and inhibits uh, nucleic acid synthesis by disrupting the DNA of microbial cells. It has antimicrobial activity against gram-positive and negative anaerobic bacteria, including uh, bacteroids, fusobacterium, clostridium, uh, some susceptible strains of U U eubacterium, peptostreptococcus, and provotella. For example, as well as it does have ac activity against some parasites, including uh, Giardia and Intamoeba. Um, so there are some side effects associated with the use of the medication. Uh, the side effects uh, range greatly from the typical gastrointestinal upset that you get with most antibiotics due to you know, bacteria dying off, um, to neuropathy, seizures, increased risk of Steven Johnson syndrome when it is combined with mebendazole, brain lesions, dysautonomia, cognitive issues, behavioral changes, aldehyde enzyme deregulation, possible serotonin, serotonin syndrome, and immune system suppression. Uh, Flagyl should not be used in people with Crohn's who have Crohn's disease because, it, because of um, it may cause potential chromosomal abnormalities in circulating lymphocytes, uh, which may lead to, may, may lead to cancer. Um, if you are suffering from liver disease, you want to make sure that your doctor monitors you for an increased risk of side effects because it will hinder fl Flagyl's metabolism. Uh, medications that Flagyl interferes with include warfarin, it hinders its clearance, lithium, it hinders its clearance, disulfiram uh, can cause psychotic reactions and further hinders alcohol metabolism, uh, bisulfan hinders its clearance, 5-fluoroacyl uh, uh, hinders its clearance, uh, cyclosporin it hinders its clearance. Um, and so with those medications, you would have to take uh, lower amounts of them, if take them at all, uh, if you are taking the medication Flagyl. Um, so, you know, I posted on my website, on my blog, I actually took information from the drug insert for Flagyl about the warnings that it mentions of it causing convulsive seizures, causing peripheral neuropathy, um, you know, pa patients with severe uh, hepatic disease will metabolize it more slowly. Uh, they may be more prone to the side effects. Um, how Crohn's disease patients should probably avoid it. Uh, Flagyl is also reasonably anticipated to be a human carcinogen per the National Tex Toxicology Program put forth by the United States Department of Health and Human Services. Though the studies of its carcinogen potential in humans are mixed, um, but there is a warning of its carcinogenic uh, potential in um, the drug insert. Um, flagyl use is not studied extensively for pregnant women and is known to cross the placental barrier and it's secreted into human breast milk as well. Uh, the flagyl drug insert states that it will be cautiously used in pregnant women because when given um, per peritonitally, um, it can cause um, infant deaths. And it's, it's, this is an unknown carcinogen. It may trigger uh, mother and feed or fetal cancer development. Uh, as potential carcinogenicity is also why it's not recommended for breastfeeding mothers since it is secreted in human breast milk. Um, and finally, the antimicrobial is not recommended for pediatric use because of its safety effectiveness have not been established. However, um, in some cases, it is recommended for the use against parasites uh, for, for pediatric use. Um, so apparently, um, uh, Flagyl, like the medication uh, disulfram, 
uh, inhibits the enzymes that are used to metabolize aldehydes, aldehyde oxidase and aldehyde dehydrogenase. Um, and in doing so, so when you consume alcohol, uh, it produces acetylhalides, which have to be further metabolized to prevent oxidative stress and alcohol poisoning. And it's further metabolized into acetic acid, which uh, is a short chain fatty acid. The body can easily break it down, you know, and use it. So um, usually when you drink alcohol, you know, that is one of the main, you know, alcohol in itself, ethanol, is converted into acetylhalide and it's converted into acetic acid. So um, uh, Flagyl hinders that. Uh, just like the medication disulfiram, which is used for people who are chronic alcoholics in the hope that by interrupting uh, the production of these enzymes, um, aldehyde dehydrogenase and aldehyde oxidase, the alcoholics who consume alcohol, well, you know, they'll have a really bad hangover, they'll get very sick. Um, so, you know, you normally would not want to consume alcohol with flagwell because it inhibits those same enzymes. And if you consume small to moderate amounts of alcohol it can cause you know brain fog and cognitive issues and elevated heart rate and facial flushing and, and vomiting and and uh st you know also standard hangover symptoms like headaches and, and, and everything and mood issues uh, but if severe enough like you know if you drink enough alcohol while I'm taking flag well it's a possibility that it, you know from not being able to detoxify alcohol properly i could lead to aldehyde poisoning which cause you know coma you know and eventually death uh, similar to people who binge drink even though they were not supposed to on disulfiram uh, can make them very 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 ill um so you know flag will can do the same thing there's actually a warning for in the drug inserts there's information for patients alcoholic beverages should be avoided while taking flag will and for at least one day afterwards um flag will uh in patients receiving flag will drink alcoholic beverages they may experience abdominal distress nausea vomiting flushing or headache um so yeah uh if you're taking flag will do not consume alcohol now those um enzymes aldehyde detoxification enzymes they're also used to detoxify formaldehyde that's found in the environment so for example uh, uh like a lot of you know faux furniture or new mobile homes they have a lot of formaldehyde in them even have formaldehyde warnings in the newer mobile homes uh so you may actually start you know if you're taking flag and you live in that type of environment where there's a lot of formaldehyde, um, you may actually start getting a lot of those symptoms, facial flushing, you know, cognitive issues too as well because it will hinder your detoxification enzymes. Same as if you live in a moldy environment or have mold detoxification issues because uh, mold produces uh, aldehydes as well. Uh, so if you, you know, if you have mold toxicity um, or you live in a moldy environment and your body cannot produce enough aldehydes, let's say that you have a mutation in the gene ALDH2, which encodes um, some of the aldehyde detoxification genes. Um, if you have a mutation that generally when you drink alcohol, you flush, it's what they call the Asian alcohol flush syndrome because Asians generally have a, muta a polymorphism in this gene so they don't produce um, proper amounts of aldehyde detoxification enzymes to break down aldehydes properly. So when they drink alcohol, they flush, they get greater hangovers if they have a polymorphism or mutation in this gene. And um, they're more prone to side effects, they're more prone to developing esophageal cancer because of increased aldehydes. Um, and they're also more prone to issues with detoxification of mold. So flag will, if you have mold sensitivity, if you live in a moldy environment, it can cause issues because it reduces your body's ability to properly process mold. Um, there's also, also a study too that points that flag will may cause or increase um, serotonin levels especially in people who are uh, taking SSRIs or 5-HTP or say John's Ward or anything that increases or causes retention of serotonin uh, like you know SSRI serotonin reuptake inhibitors um, so in that case if you are taking anything uh, that is used to produce serotonin or anything that um, is a serotonin analog or anything that causes retention of serotonin um, you may want to talk to your doctor before taking Flagwell because it can cause a serious condition known as serotonin syndrome. Um, so yeah, you definitely want to mention that to them. Um, finally, there has been some evidence that um, Flagwell can cause brain lesions, at least temporary brain lesions. They are seem to be um, uh, will, will go away once a person um, takes uh, the vitamin B1, which is thiamine. Um, it appears that flag will metabolizes into um, a cation that that, it, that I'm not going to pronounce. It's like that long, um, but it, it's got a very it's a close structural analog to thiamine, so it kind of like inhibits uh, thiamine uh, 
pyrophosphokinase and acts as a thymine um, antagonist. Uh, so it can actually cause thymine deficiency. And in doing so, um, there's a condition called Wernick, Wernicke's encephalopathy, uh, which that has the exact same symptoms, which is known as a thymine deficiency. It causes Wernicke's encephalopathy. It has the exact same conditions as flagel toxicity. Um, it causes brain lesions, it causes vision problems, it causes autonomic uh, dysfunction, behavioral changes, hearing loss, vision loss, like all these issues that I wrote in my blog, and they're very similar to one another because flagel can cross the blood-brain barrier. It is able to deplete thymine in the brain and throughout the whole body as an antagonist. Uh, so yeah, you know, if you have to take flagel, you know, a couple of things. One, avoid all alcohol. Two, try to avoid moldy environments. Uh, th three, um, maybe supplement with thymine and magnesium uh, before and after uh, to maybe help prevent some of these effects. And I wrote it in the blog uh, to go in more detail of all these issues. Uh, but yeah, that is why I generally do not recommend the use of Flagwell um, as antibiotic because of all the conditions. It inhibits um, aldehyde uh, detoxification enzymes. It may cause serotonin syndrome for some people. Um, it can cause uh, brain lesions and cognitive issues in people who are uh, deficient on thymine. Um, it can cause uh, mold detoxification issues and issues where people are mold sensitive by inhibiting aldehyde de de detoxification enzymes. So though Flagwell is not as severe, at least from the literature that we have, and its side effects like ciprofloxin is, um, or gadolinium, I don't recommend its use, but if you have to use it, um, then I would recommend, you know, thymine and magnesium supplementation is magnesium. Uh, thymine requires magnesium to be utilized properly by the body. Um, but yeah, so um, you know, some people will have to, you know, use flagel. Um, in certain circumstances where there's no other antibiotic that their, um, their bacteria or parasite may be weak to, antimicrobial agent, they may need to use it. Um, and if so, the, you could do these things to maybe hopefully protect yourself. But for the average person, unless it's your last resort, I generally do not recommend uh, the use of Flagwell or metronidazole for parasites. Um, I don't recommend its use for um, SIBO and SIBO. I definitely do not recommend its use in Crohn's disease. Um, and, you know, one thing I forgot to mention, too, is it is a possible carcinogen. So the longer you take it, there is a possibility that it may uh, trigger cancer cell development. Um, so, yeah, I do not recommend uh, and the use of flag and I caution its use. Um, if you found this video informative, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, thank you, and I hope you have a great day.